Good morning, today we talk about Kubernetes. We'll take a Node.js application and deploy it to a local Kubernetes cluster. But before we begin, today is midsummer in Sweden, so I will celebrate it with a small bottle of snaps. Ваше здоровье. We'll deploy an application from one of the previous videos. It is a Node.js server that exposes port 4000 and it returns a list of nodes that it stores in the low DB. It is dockerized. We containerized this application in one of the previous videos. The container also exposes the port 4000 and runs node index.js. Let's deploy it to Kubernetes. I'm gonna use Minikube to run Kubernetes locally. To install Minikube on Mac, I need to run brew install Minikube. The Minikube web page contains installation instructions for all the systems. I already have Minikube installed, so I can move to the next step. Let's clear the screen. And then, as we are gonna use the local Docker image, we want to run an extra command, which is eval dollar sign round brackets Minikube docker env. I'm using fish as a shell, so I cannot run the docker sign round brackets. I will have to run it without the dollar sign. But for ZSH and regular shell, you will have to use the dollar sign there. Anyway, let's run the command. And now if I run docker images, it will show the images available for the minikube. Next, you need to build your image. Docker build t. We provide a tag for the image. We call it low JSON because it's a JSON server based on LoDB. And we specify the dot, the current directory, as a location to search for the Docker file. The image is built. Now we can deploy the container. Kubernetes has this abstraction called pods around the containers. One pod often corresponds to a container, so you can think about them as a wrappers around containers. But just keep in mind that pod can contain more than one container. To run the pod, we execute kubectl run. Then we specify the deployment name, low JSON. Then the image, image equals low JSON. The image is local, so we need to specify the image pool policy, never. And the port is 4000. It created a new deployment called low JSON. A deployment is an abstraction over the application runtime. Basically what it will do, it will restart our low JSON pod whenever we will stop it. We can see the list of deployments using the command kubectl get deployments. Currently we have one deployment called lowjson. We can also get the list of pods using kubectl get pods. And as you can see, we have a pod prefixed with lowjson and a unique ID. It is running, but we cannot access it yet. To be able to communicate to our API, we will need to expose it as a service. Services are another abstraction by Kubernetes that allows to expose the pod or a group of pods as a service to the outside world. So to expose our pod as a service, we need to run kubectl expose pod. Then we specify the name of the pod that we want to expose, copy, paste, port 4000. Name of the service will also be low JSON and type node port. Now we expose the service low JSON. We can get the list of uh, running services using the command kubectl get as we see. So we have the Kubernetes service and load JSON service running on port 3072 .6. This is the host port. This is the container port. So it exposes port 4000 as 3072 .6. Now to be able to access our server, we need to get the IP of our Kubernetes cluster. To do this, we run kubectl cluster info and it is running on IP 192.168.99.101. Let's curl our server. The port will be 3072.6, 3072.6 and the IP will be 192.168.99.101. And as you can see we got the hello remote containers response which means our server works because we process the root URL, sending the hello remote containers text message. And this is how you deploy your Docker containers to a local Kubernetes cluster. In this tutorial, we were deploying everything manually. We were using the console to specify all the options to our commands. On real projects, you'll probably use the configuration files. So if you want to know more about Kubernetes, let me know in the comments, press like button, subscribe to not miss any new videos. You can also join my Discord server to vote for the topics for the next videos. And see you next time.